Yo, we the West Live Podcast, and I'm live here with another Los Angeles legend, West Coast pioneer, all the fucking accolades in the fucking world, Fat Lip of the Far Side. What's up, my bro? How you doing? What's I'm up, doing, Fat Lip? I'm just cooling, I'm just cooling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But is you really lying or not? Yeah, yeah. It's all, what's up, Fat Lip? I'm just cooling. Yeah, yeah. Right. Cool. But yeah, man, look, Fat Lip, I'm going to tell you this off rip. This is a moment for me right here. Wow. This is a moment for me. Who the fuck would have thought that this motherfucker from Panorama City would be interviewing a legend like yourself, Fat Lip, from the fucking far side? Someone who I grew up on, generations before me probably grew up on, you know, like, and generations after me would grow up on, you know? Right. And one thing that I've spoken about this whole night, probably, with almost everybody, timeless music. The fucking far side. Talk your shit, man. Tell the people that the Far Side is literally the epitome, the picture of timeless music. You can play the Far Side music any decade, probably from from the inception. You could even play it before, and it would have sounded dope. And then you could play it 50 years from now. It will sound long after we're dead. The Far Side is gonna be bumping in some motherfucking speakers. How does it feel to be a part of something that impactful? I don't know. It's it's surreal because, like. When we made the shit, we didn't have no idea. Ah. And it's like, as time goes on, you start to realize that shit. Like, I don't know how old you was when the shit came out, but when I meet people that, you know what I mean, that are from different generations, and, and, and you see, like, the music still resonate as it did in, back in our day, mm. and then you start to see, like, yeah, damn, this shit is like a, like a low-key little anthem. Like, yeah. Like, damn, this shit is... Uh, this is gonna be around for a minute. Is it? Yeah, it's it's uh it's incredible, man. I mean, you know, but you know, we definitely uh, put our heart and soul into it. So a lot of people, the thing with the far side is like a lot of groups, a lot of artists in general, uh, they may be capable of producing like a timeless song or two. That's a great career if you can produce two timeless songs. Phenomenal career. But you guys, bodies of work, you know, full bodies of work that are just uh, from front to back, fluid and just current sounding in any, any era. I'm 21 years old. Right. And I first encountered the far side probably when I was like 12, 13, you know? And, uh, you know, and then things come in cycles, you know? you know? Of course, the typical hit. But then, like, I, I dive into, I, I, I listen to the albums, and I'm just like, this music is, is uh, this music still plays a purpose for me. I'll tell you, as of my perspective of a 21-year-old now, that the music played a purpose for me then as a kid yeah. as far as like you know what I'm just trying to chill out right now I just vibe in my room let me play some far side right. or or right now as a as a, as a as a as a young adult I'm like man I'm not really like in a hip hop mood but I'm but I'm in a hip but I'm hip hop so I'm always gonna be in hip so you know I don't want something that's gonna bomb 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 me and in this era you know the production is I'm sure you could you can definitely attest to this that in this era the production saves all these rappers careers I mean, the producers are out here doing a, all the work. I'm a, I'm a weird person to ask about that. I'm gonna tell you why. I DJ myself, and 99% of the people will assume, uh, will think that I'm not gonna be down with the rappers of today. Ah, uh -huh. I fucks with them. I fuck with them. Who are them? I mean, just the whole movement. Mm. I fuck with the whole movement. The, the, I mean, you can call it mumble rap, or whatever. I fuck with it. And okay, and then I, I feel you what you're saying about the beats, but at the same time, Cats is using their they voices too, melodically. You know what I'm saying? If you're talking about Migos and Drake and all them cats, that whole style mm. is pretty much yep. not lyric based, but melody based. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? Because I do see the other argument as far as like, let's say if you guys had the tools we got now, y'all definitely be taking advantage of them with the, with the technology and all that. You know, it's like, it's like you take advantage of what you got at times. Yeah. So I could definitely see that as well. But it's, it's like, I think there's a dependency that comes with that stuff, you know? And it's like, you know, it's very refreshing to just hear someone rapping over, it doesn't even have to be a super boom bap beat, but just something that's not so, you know? Yeah. And the, the voice isn't fucking auto-tuned to death, you know? It's just nice, clear fucking lyrics that I can, um, that I can like hear and like listen to and, and, and pick up from. Like, I think a good example of this, and nothing to take away from him because I love him, Travis Scott. Right. Travis Scott, you cannot name a hot verse from Travis Scott. But I think he probably has that, like one of the albums of the year this year with Astro is a really yeah. good fucking album. 
musically, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and but it's like he doesn't have bars like that. Hey, you but know? let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this. Do you think that there should even be a comparison from this era and and from the era that I'm from? Because sometimes I think that's where the that's the where the mistake is because it's so many different factors involved in why that music sounds like that and why our music sounds like it, it does you know there's there's, there's the world several, is different the, well the world is different the technology is yeah. different the, the 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 material people ain't really sampling so much and if, if they are they're not using jazz like how we did it and shit there's a lot of key differences and and let me ask you this a lot of these cats don't even consider themselves hip hoppers. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. It takes this me. Is, yeah. with, with, with certain acts, I can grow to accept it. But with a lot of acts, I'll give you one very specific Post Malone. Fucking hate Post Malone because he came into the game, White Iverson, White Boy, Corn Rose. And then he's gonna say that he's not a that he doesn't want to be on a double XL because he's not a rapper. He's an artist, and he wants to focus more on country stuff or whatever the fuck. When he came into the game, literally using the imagery that we have created yeah, and yeah. and made pop here, right. and used it, made a little fun song out of it, and exploited it, and now he's a fucking pop star, and pays no respect to what hip hop brought to him. That's how I view him. Right. That's right, how I view right, him. Right. Paid right. no respect to what hip hop brought to him. Just disrespectful many times, like like when as far he as his him saying it, like just disregarding. Yeah, disregarding hip hop, saying like, oh, when when I want to feel something, I don't listen to hip hop. I listen to fucking Bob Dylan or whatever the fuck, you know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, but because because I feel you on that. But then then but then you got the little the little Yachty uh, debacle when he was saying he didn't listen to Biggie. That don't matter. That ain't, okay? Because yeah, you're right, right, right. That don't matter because I'll tell you why right now. Cause yeah, because he was like three when the shit came three, out. He was three, and Lil Yachty will never, ever, and should never even be deserved to be speaking of, in the same vein of Biggie. So it's like, that doesn't even matter to me. Right. Because you, maybe, maybe it's like, it's a different, you know what, man? Ah, you're right. It's a different game. It's a different world. Because I mean, like, it's as different as it was. You couldn't compare Farside to any group that came out 25 or 30 years prior. You couldn't compare far. That's like, uh, like us comparing us being compared to the Temptations. <laughs> and this is another thing. Y'all sold records. People bought your shit. Yeah, they did. Ain't no fucking streaming. You know, Hell like no. they like, went to the store. They, to they the, walked they got out of their, their house. Car, got on the bus. They took time out of their fucking day to go buy it. Like it's millions of records sold. Like you know, right. I guess. Say so nowadays, you just gotta push a button. There you go. It's all on your, it's all on your phone. So it's like different. It's the whole spectrum of rap is different. Rap culture, I believe, lives on the internet now. Yeah. And and that's why like a dude from Atlanta can sound like he's from LA. A dude from New York can sound like he's from Texas. Yeah. You know, because you can be fully submersed and exposed to different cultures through the internet alone, through his social media well, and all that. And then, and then when you think about it too, technology always changes the music. In Music game, yeah. technology. Like when the MPC came out, that changed everything. Yeah. And, and who and the and the, the the musicians who didn't know about it were left behind. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's it's, in, it's interesting, man. It's this it's always interesting. It's uh, you know? I would compare that to when uh, to maybe maybe ten years ago when people started realizing you can do this. Just buy your own mic, save up money, buy your own mic, and make your own music on your laptop. Right. Some people were still trying to book studio time. Like, bro, what are you doing? Right. Uh, like, what are you doing trying to book studio time to record your first song? Like, that's not that's not the route you should be taking right now, you know? Right. Yeah, no, it took me a while to adjust to, to, uh, the, to the shit. So, but, yeah, you know it's, what I mean? Uh, but it's like, it's like, it's just more affordable, more convenient, and like, but that, I feel like, can actually at times play to a detriment to the quality of the music. You're sacrificing less to make the music, in a way, you know? Yeah. And it affects the quality a bit. Yeah. And then the speed at, at which you can make it kind of makes it recyclable and makes it McDonald's, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's hard to say because it's so many, like, they just did that shit at the, um, 
the Astro, where the, in, in, in Dodgers, no, not Dodger Stadium. They did the shit at uh, uh, Houston Anaheim, Anaheim Astro, Stadium. Oh, the, wait, what are you talking about? The, the, uh, what was it they did at Anaheim Stadium for three days? That shit was sold out. Oh, the the, the golf, the, the wolf game? The, the t- well, they Tyler did the that Crater? at Dodger Stadium. But then, Crater, did, yeah. but then they did the other one with Travis Scott was headlining. Yeah. And, and Anaheim, the big yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like. It's hard to say what you know what I mean like you the vibe is there somebody the feeling there. it as a yeah. whole bunch of people that's definitely, actually definitely. feeling it and uh, but the thing I like about it at least you can feel it it's raw it's you know what I'm saying it's it's kind of like how they getting it in it's just like they taking over the pop world yeah. the mainstream shit and it's kind of like mm. just being themselves and that's that's what I respect because that's how we did it we was just ourselves and we ended up on TV and all of that shit motherfuckers trying to emulate us and, and our style and shit like that you know, I, I feel it's 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 at least organic. You know what I mean? All this Definitely. shit might not be my exact flavor, but it's 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 not as you know industry produced because there's no industry. That, that's another factor too. There's no record industry, hmm. so all of these cats are. There's more independent artists now. You know what Boy, I mean? That, so, it's easier to be independent. It's easier to be independent. But you, def- I feel like there's a glass ceiling you hit, though. So, yeah. So, um. Man, Fat Lip, the far side. Yeah, man. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, I really appreciate you stopping by. This has been a, a really good conversation. It's getting late, so I'm not gonna hold you too long anymore. But yeah, man, uh, this is a, it was really great to meet you. Really great to talk to you. Like, this is a, a big thing for me. Yes, definitely sir. picking up a lot of gems. Definitely taking a lot with me out of this for sure. Yes, sir. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Right on.